Alright, what's up guys? So, I'm here today with a new video. We're going to be shooting a mirror type of photography video today. I'm going to be doing this actually in my backyard. So, back in that area is where we're going to be filming that today. I'm actually going to be taking the photo with this camera, so I'm not going to be able to really film myself taking the picture, unfortunately. But the way I'm going to do this is start the video here, what I'm doing right now, get the picture, and then I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you guys to my computer and actually show you uh, how I edit Photoshop this image to get it to uh, what it actually is going to be. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. I'm pretty excited to show you how I create these uh, pretty cool Photoshopped images. So I've been getting a, a few requests to, to kind of like go through and show you guys how I do these. So I don't know. I'm hoping you guys like it. I think it'll turn out really cool. So. Uh, with that being said guys, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm pretty much going to jump from this to my computer. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be using this same camera to take the image that I am going to be doing to film this. So I can't obviously record and take a picture. <laughs> so yeah guys, I'll see you guys at the computer. Three, two, one, let's go. Alright, what's up guys? So back at the computer, uh, I've already taken the pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and use, I'll show you which two we're going to use here. Let's see. So, ended up using, I believe it was this one here, as well as, I think it was this one, uh, 2703. So, I went ahead and I've already pulled them into Photoshop and done like a very basic uh, edit to them. So I'm just going to show you guys the process now that I'm going to go through in order to make this into my final image. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a little bit tedious at some point, so I'm, I'm going to speed this up uh, just so you guys don't want to sit through all that because that would be pretty boring for you to watch the whole thing second by second. So just keep that in mind. This isn't going to be like drawn out to 30 minutes or so because it's probably going to end up taking me about 30 minutes to make it perfect the way I want it to be so uh, first things first after you've pulled in both of your pictures and edited them uh, through the camera raw filter um, that is if you're shooting in raw on your camera which I would recommend doing if you have the option on your camera um, essentially you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you unlock both of your pictures there'll be a little lock button right here on uh, both of them so unlock it convert it to a normal layer that way you can uh, move it around like this. It's either convert it to a normal layer or to a smart object. I don't remember. But if, when you when you click on the drag drag around icon thing here, the move tool, it'll it'll ask you do you want to convert it and you just click yes. So then you go ahead and you move this image over here, drop it on top of this guy. That's perfect there. Alright. Now that's the image that I want to use in the end. That's gonna be like what I want the final image to be. I just want to kind of paint in a little bit of this image. So I'm keeping this one, this one right here, on top. And I'm going to go ahead and go down here to, you can see that it says add layer mask. So you click that, go over here, and you make sure that your primary color is set to uh, black. Well, I should say the foreground color is set to black. You should be able to go ahead and press B on your uh, keyboard for the brush tool. And this is where the tedious part comes into play. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in here. Now, keep in mind, I was using a manual lens, and I obviously didn't have someone else helping me. Otherwise, I would have been able to get this a bit more in focus. I mean, as you can tell, like, look how in focus that stuff is back there, as well as, like, the, the tree is very crisp. I just couldn't, I was using the the like camera remote app uh, on my phone and with the manual lens I'm not able to manually adjust the focus ring from my phone so I kind of just had to set it to infinity that way everything would be in focus within a certain uh, focal length so I mean from a distance it looks like everything is fine I mean the normal eye won't be able to tell that my hand is a little bit fuzzy but I mean it's not a big deal the, the picture is still gonna come out the way I want it to be so yeah make sure your foreground set to black and then watch what happens when I when I go over this so notice how it's it kinda just like 
makes that disappear and the tree is all you see now and I'm sure you can kind of get an idea of what this would look like I'm not gonna get super specific I'm just gonna speed this up but that's why I just want you to see kind of the idea that I'm going with here and as you can tell it's gonna look pretty cool so it's gonna look as if you know I'm holding this picture frame but obviously you would be able to normally see me there but because of you know the the effect or whatever that I'm trying to convey here it's just kind of like one of those I don't know I don't know what to call it I don't want to say it's like a trippy photo because I'm not I'm not trying to you know convey that but it's just like a cool dynamic I don't know it just looks really neat so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out the brush part I'm gonna go ahead and just you know brush out the whole mirror portion there and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and we're gonna go over some final edits alright so hop into uh, super fast speed mode in three two one go Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have went ahead and for the most part gotten all of the stuff in the center out. Um, I did notice this up here a little bit. Yeah, so one of the things that happens when you get really like detail with this, and it's kind of cool that you can do this, so if you just switch colors back to white, you can actually kind of draw it back in. So if you decide that, oh, I don't, I didn't actually want to do that, you can kind of just draw it back in a little bit. So I noticed I took a little bit too much away from there, and it kind of, t it kind of took away from the sharpness of the corner. So I wanted to kind of just paint that back in. Now I can go ahead and start doing some of the uh, color adjustments that I like to do. And quite honestly, I think, I think I want to go ahead and resize this 3830 by 2077. Now all that does is that just shrinks it so that when I go and post it to my Instagram page it allows the picture to you know fit in the kind of like detail that I like it to fit. Alright so first things first uh, go into a photo filter I want this to be pretty warm so I'm gonna bump it up to 35 bring this down to maybe 70 you know what I think I'm gonna try blue no, I'll stick with this, but I think I'm going to bring this to about 27. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Cool. So, after that, go into black and white, set this to luminosity, check your tint box, and then this is just going to be playing with the reds. So, I want this to kind of have, not like a retro feel, but I want it to obviously feel like it's being taken on a summer day where it was 90-something degrees outside. That looks kind of cool. And then, of course, adjust these greens to come up a bit. Adjust that blue. There's some blue on my shirt, and there's blue back in the sky. You guys can see that. If I take it way up, you can tell the difference. Actually, I kind of like it down like that. Magentas. There aren't many magentas in here besides the stuff on my shirt, and there's a little bit in the sky. So I'm just going to put that at about uh, 82 is fine. So you can see the difference here if I turn that on and off. Just gives you a bit more contrast in in the uh, the ground there and hue saturation. I don't do much here, just a little bit, maybe a plus two, and then maybe darken it. And actually, I kind of like that little faded look when you brighten it up. Let me put that on like a two. Yeah, I like that. Let's see what it looks like before and after. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I don't usually mess with the vibrance, but I guess we can see what it's gonna do. 
I mean, that's not bad. Maybe give it like a 12. And then saturation, we just messed with that, but this is a little bit different. Pop that on like a 2 as well. Yeah, skin tone changes a little bit. Back here in the field, the, uh, the grass or whatever you want to call that changes a bit too. Now, curves is usually like my favorite spot to make adjustments just because I, I don't know, I think it makes the biggest difference in some cases. And I think this picture will be one of those. So we're going to go ahead and bring up these blacks here. Give that another little fade look in the, uh, in the grass down there if you can see that. But look down there when I change this. It kind of gives it that overall like faded look. I don't want it to be super faded so I'm just going to throw it on like 7. And then play with this a little bit, make it a little darker, a little punchy, I guess you could call it. Not don't want it to be too much. That's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't want to give it that like overly edited like HDR look. I don't like that. I want it to look still natural, but just you know the colors to look better. So I think that's a pretty good sweet spot there. And then maybe do a little bit with this one. Yeah, bring out the white in the mirror. Yeah, I think about right there 190 not much of a move but just a little bit so you can see a little bit of a difference there added some contrast added a little bit of a fade type of feel to the blacks down there and then lastly levels I'm gonna bring this down to about 240 I usually always set this to 97 I just like the way that looks on most pictures and then I'm obviously going to come in here and I'm going to add an unsharp mask because who doesn't like things to be sharpened. I'm going to bring this down to 100 and threshold to 30. That might be too much. I think it doesn't actually need it because that tree is already pretty sharp and I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it needs it. So um, what I'm going to do here from here is I'm going to go ahead and merge all of this. I'm actually going to open it back up into the camera raw filter because I want to adjust the greens. I don't want them to be as green as they are. So I'm going to come over here to the hue sliders and I'm going to bring this green over. Yeah, there we go. That makes it feel like it's really hot outside. I don't know if you guys get that feel, but I definitely do. Um, as well as the saturation of the, uh, actually no, probably the hue of the orange in my hand down here I don't like how it looks like I'm so like I'm so orange I'm not that orange I promise I do have a tanned hand I have a nice I have, I have a pretty solid farmers tan going but I think that's pretty good sweet that is about it um, obviously I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram if you don't go ahead and do that because I'm gonna be posting this photo and then you can go and show your support like it comments on it and all that good stuff um, of course, lastly, change this to white, make sure all that up there is good, and then I kind of just put my little stamp on it down there, make sure I get it in the corner, boom, there it is, easy enough. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two, and I'm going to hop out of the computer here and uh, close the video out face to face with you guys, so thanks for, uh, thanks for checking in on this part, I'll see you guys in just one second. Alright guys, so that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and you thought the picture turned out just as cool as uh, as you thought it would. Here it is, uploaded, as you can see. Pretty cool. And uh, just really quick, I'll show you guys, um, let's see here. I'll bring up my Instagram page that way all of you fine people can uh, go check it out so there it is on my page um, this my account there if you all would be kind enough to go ahead and uh, give me a follow on there it's where I post all my photos you guys can go and like them, comment on them, give me any suggestions or whatever. I mean, as well as in the comments of this video, but I'm pretty active there. So, um, yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. I'm glad I got it to finally show you guys a little bit of uh, behind the scenes on how I make those type of pictures. Hopefully you guys learned something. And if you have any questions about anything or need any help, 
uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm not a selfish type of photographer where I'm not willing to show you or teach you how to do something. So, with that being said guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you learned something, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, comment, like, share, subscribe, and follow my Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, thanks for watching.